Hey guys, it's Caleb with Pave Tool. Today, in this tip of the week, we're gonna go over a Weber compaction equipment and which compaction equipment is gonna be best in each scenario. Whether it be hybrid base or dense grade base, what compactor is gonna be the best for you and for your company? So we're gonna dive in deeper, get into the nitty gritty. The first application I wanna talk about is hybrid base known as open graded or even permeable base. Using a number 57 on the bottom, a number nine on the top for screeding. And in this application, we'd recommend the CR3. So it's a forward and a reverse plate. It's great for hitting your subsoil as long as you don't over excavate more than six inches. It will do a six inch lift with two passes. It's gonna do an eight inch lift of number 57 stone with two passes as well. So I would also highly recommend the CR6. And the reason so is because of the comp control. It has that device in there that tells you when you hit 98% proctor density, which makes it so that you're no longer breaking down the gradation of the stone. Over compacting can do more damage than under compacting. When you're over compacting the material, you're breaking it down from three quarter inch down to half or even quarter, you're losing the bearing ability of the soils. So the next application we wanna go over is our dense grade application using an ASTM D2940 material. Obviously, a lot more material to condense. You have your fines in there as well. With this machine, you're able to do 12 to 15 inch with two passes. It also has, again, the comp control in it. It's gonna tell you when you hit the 98% proctor density which is obviously super crucial. It's a very cheap insurance. And then also to reiterate on the CR6, an important part is the size of the plate and the amount of passes. So you're gonna do a lot less passes with a larger piece of equipment, which obviously less passes means less time, which means more money. And with that time, you're able to already be screening. So instead of doing it in lifts, you are that much farther ahead. So great compactor for dense grade is the CR6, it's highly recommended. In both open grade and dense grade application, we would advise using a rammer. You can either use the SRV 590 or the SRV 620, both fantastic pieces of equipment. These pieces of equipment you would use to consolidate materials in tight areas, as well as to consolidate your material along the edges of your excavation so you don't have failures on your edges. We'd also recommend it on your ASTM number two stone and driving that stone into a cohesive soil like clay. In both applications, again, we do recommend using a rammer. So we wanna give a lot of credit to Weber and their great accomplishments. They've been in business since 1952, started with Gunther Weber. They've also solely concentrated on walk behind compaction equipment for the past 72 years. You think about that and the time that they have had to perfect that equipment and work on it and re-engineer it, they really have done an extremely good job. We also wanna point out that they have a facility in Grand Rapids, Michigan. So as far as getting parts and pieces, it's quick service. They do have about 90% of that material in stock and ready to go. As a contractor, I know how important it is to have that access to getting parts and material in that customer service. So if you guys have any other questions regarding compaction equipment and what compaction equipment is gonna work best for you and your company, make sure to give us a call. We'd love to talk about it. Good number to reach us at 860-870-8665. Thanks again, guys, for watching this week's tip of the week. If you guys have any comments or want to see any other content, make sure to comment below. Let us know. We like your input. Also, go to our Instagram, our Facebook, as well as check out our YouTube channel. Like, subscribe, and again, give us feedback. Thanks for watching.